Hello once again everyone and welcome to Divine Divinity episode 10. So we just recruited the elf um, representative of the council of seven. What we're gonna do is we are gonna go towards the... Um, well we're gonna go to the council. And we're gonna see one of the orbs, see if we can recruit anyone else. Uh, if I'm not mistaken there is the orc the imp and the dwarf uh, missing so yeah we're gonna go to the to the council and we'll see what uh, we were in the um, in the elven village just so you know last episode i did enhance a uh, elven site so that means uh, for what is almost unnoticeable in in the whole screen you can see it's quite massive Council. So here you see it's Como the lizard, Brontheon the elf, Mardinius the human, and of course the mage, the wizard, it's Sandalor. Right. Scrying statue of the of the orcs. What is that? It, it looks like some sort of prison. That's an orc prison. I know because I've spent time in one. The new orcish member of the council appears to have been taken prisoner by his own kind. What is this orc prison? Let me show you on your map. You can find it near the river town. The orcs are waging a horrible war there against the town. Very well. So that is... Um, to further from the orc camp. Down to the barracks. Destroyed village, orc camp. We do not have the teleporter, but yeah, it's past the orc camp. So we wanna go there. Just east of the barracks. Well, this is the orc. Um, what would you call it? Well, we came and destroyed all the supplies. The, the orcs are still around. It's gone dark and it's all quiet. This is the camp of the orcs. Oh, there is, it's full of orcs. Luckily, we're really strong now. Should we kill them all? What was that? Well, they drop a lot of stuff. Two hundred armor. Well, that's good, isn't it? That's it. Something I have to do is to make sure nothing breaks because I got a few things broken in the past. Very well. A lot of gold. Well, there is still more orcs, but I guess. If we don't go over there, it's not really a problem. But the hell spikes are really nice. You foul orcs. I think that's it. These are the pets I'm talking about. Yeah. The jail pits. Just level up. Oh, 
Oh, slaughter them. Look at all that gold. Super healing. Gold by hundreds. Uh, so this here's the thing. Oh, what? Well, a human in our camp. Full human, you die and I eat your heart. I think not. Okay, that one, the big one is dead. Right. 150. Ah, it's like mine. Platinum key. Lockpicks. 180. Mine are better. We're, we're doing good. We're doing good. The container appears locked. Oh, it's a lot of stuff. Platinum key. Uh, nothing too important, though. That was nice. Gold, ember, emerald. These jewels are gonna be nice. I should have read that scroll. Teleported of the orcs. We have got another one. What is this? The teleporter of the elves. I didn't know I had them. Very well. These are the 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 jail pit. So let's go. Well, one of these has to be. Nothing. Oh. Croxy. He's massive. He's bigger than the one that has Slasher. Huh? What are human doing here? I am here to free you, man. Why would human free an orc? You have been chosen to represent the orcs in the Council of Seven. I am here to take you there. Council of Seven? Croxy never heard of this thing. It is a meeting place for the seven races. It is very important that I gather all seven council members, or else the Black Ring will unleash great evils upon the wells. Black Ring. Croxy know of Black Ring. They seek to trick orc leaders and subvert orc warriors. Uh, warriors' honor. Croxy go with human to this council of seven. Black Ring must be stopped. All you have to say is the following word. As I think. <laughs> They're stupid. Proxy wants to go to council now. <laughs> it works. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Right. So, two more to go. The dwarf and the imp. So, I imagine... Teleporter of Destroyed Village. Well, I'll go back to the council. Oh, my voice is cracking. I'll go back to the council and... Just look for everyone else. Oh no! I'm an idiot. Right, so I was gonna mention this before. Uh, uh, I don't even have the cheat table anymore. Like I had it for that one episode. Episode 9, I think. And still, when I level up one level, I get like... Many. Right, let's get going. We need to go to the council. And I think we're gonna go for the dwarf uh, next. 
Right. I see the weapon. Lizard, elf, orc, human. The dwarfs. Hmm. I wonder what that big thing in the distance is. Looks like an axe. Aha, I recognize the dwarf location. He's in Glenboros. The Overground Dwarf Village. Go there as soon as possible, my friend. He seems to be a frequent traveler. We must not lose track of him again. Where is Glenboros? If that's being pronounced correctly. If not, I apologize. It's a small dwarven enclave east of Stormfist Castle. Unlike a typical dwarf community, it is built overground, not underground. It dates from the time of the first tentative trades links between the dwarves and the humans many hundreds of years ago. At the same time, uh, at that time, an alliance was forged between the two races, which still holds firm. You should receive a cordial welcome. Right. Uh, hmm. Okay. So he, uh, the place it's um, near Stormfist Castle, then. The Dwarven Bread Inn, Dwarven Village. Right, so here's the Dwarven Village, and this is the Dwarven Bread Inn. We're gonna go from the Ars Magicana, as uh, so I don't have the teleporter scroll of the dwarves. Oh, my game is uh, being funny. Nice music. Oh, who's that? Sorry to bother you. My name is Caroline. I have you seen a little boy. Uh, he's out here somewhere. He's always off getting into trouble. Uh, heading the clouds and looking for adventures. Uh, normal for boys of his age, I suppose. Uh, well, I not normal. I have not seen him. Oh god, if he's uh, nowhere about here, then he must have straight up towards the dark cave. Oh please god, no. Well, we've been... Uh, we've been talked about the... Uh, the dark cave. Right, so I think I'll do that off camera, probably. I mean, you don't really have to do it. But obviously I would recommend just to... As, I, as I've said many, many times just um, do everything that you presented you don't you do not want to go on a straight line just make yourself an idea uh, I have not played more than 20 hours in this uh, in this series right by the time I was in this point in the game uh, I was probably hour 60 <laughs> in my first playthrough to all brave and loyal dwarves our good king calls you to arms hear ye, hear ye. To all brave and loyal dwarves, our good king calls you to arms. War is declared on the dastardly elves. Step forward to defend your homeland. That is true. They are going to go on a, on a war with the elves. Hey, you're not dwarf. Human can't fight in our army. Go on, get... Okay. Is there really a war going between the dwarf and the elves? By gods there is. These arrogant creatures attacked us unprovoked. And the aims are angry about something as well. So I've heard. Uh, these are hard times for our dwarves. Well, fair enough. We want to find... Would you care for a cool ale of a Rima here, human? I never care much for the rinsed water soul at the tavern about here. So I tell myself uh, to brew in my own. Could you care for some bottles at a decent price, friend? What makes your ale so superior to the uh, to that soul in the taverns? Ah, now that be my secret ingredient that adds much more than a sweet smell to my brews. Most dwarves are uh, liking to become drunk quickly, and this ingredient makes my ale mighty powerful. Two bottles of my ale, and you'll be dancing for days. How much for one? 
There'll be five gold bits. I only sell large bottles, you know. Well, five gold, it's nothing. We got we got loads. Right? I imagine. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is the guy. Yeah, the shrine. You all use thunderstorm. It goes. Greetings, I am Air. Um, <coughs> sorry, can you pronounce that? Uh, Eolius, Eolas, Thunderstorm, Dwarven Ambassador to the Six Races. You come in a very in a, in a opportune time. If you wish to assemble our famous Dwarven hospitality, human. Uh, the Axe of Stone has been stolen. Today I have, be, uh, have to write a letter to the King Kelp Dunatrim to tell him of our great loss. I'd like to know more about the Axe of Stone. The Axe of Stone was used in combat by uh, the god Duna. After Duna left this world, she gave the weapons into our care. It's a catastrophe that the Elven have stolen the magnificent weapon. The Elves are responsible for the theft of the Axe of Stone. I, damn tricksy Elf, must have sneaked up on the co uh, commemorative plinth where the Axe of Stone rested and had away with it in the night. We caught an elf near the scene of the crime. He wasn't confessed yet, but he will when Gregor sets his torture on him. Who's Gregor? Gregor Dunatrim, the king's brother and the mayor of this dwarven settlement. Can I investigate the crime myself? I wish this terrible matter to be solved as much as any dwarf. Uh, there's no need to investigate anything, human. The bloody elves were responsible for the theft and will make them suffer for it. End of saga. I don't believe the elves stole your artifact. Let me prove that you're wrong. That is true. If you remember from last episode, it's uh, it was orcs in disguise or it was evil dwarves with working with the black ring that we kill. Why waste your time uh, when matters are so crystal clear? Well, if you have nothing better to do, go talk to the mayor and the elf here. I'll mark the mayor's house on your map. The elf is locked in the cellar until such time as we take him to our king for final judgment. I want you to join the Council of Seven. Aye, that's no surprise. Sandra wrote a letter to Kelp Dunatrim, our king, telling that you would come and ask one of us dwarves for help. But as long as we have not retrieved the axe of stone, I can join your cause. I must see you recover uh, ere I can go on wandering with humans. River of Gold. Deep within the mountains uh, to the west, my brother dwarves live in the vast underground system of caverns. Now that's another way to live underground with a stone roof over your head. None of these elfish trees and sky and stuff. A shining river of gold and jewels run through the holes of Karanamics from end to end. Decide you make your whip of joy. Right. Beneath the holes. You have to pass through the dark forest and follow the, the road leading west. Give me your map of the forest and I'll show you the best route. Uh, route. Very well. We are investigating this now. In order to persuade uh, Iolas to join the Council of Seven, I must find uh, find out what happened to the Axe of Stone. I should start my investigation in the Dwarven Halls. I would like to know the Major. I think it's one of these houses. Dwarven Jula. They're farming pigs. This looks like a big house. Oh well, this is more of a settlement, right? Glenboros Town Hall. Right. Gregor. Greetings, human burp. I am Gregor Dunatrim, mayor of Glenboros. What can I do for you? Heck. 
his rank. <clears throat> Just how much ale have you had today, Gregor? My my head's fair swimming after mere seconds in your presence. Ale? Did you say ale? You damn fool human. True dwarves don't put that slop to their lips. Burp. Mead. We drink mead, you blasted idiot. Can you not tell the difference? Mead is good for the muscles. Makes you, makes you stout and powerful it does. Why doesn't you go bring me some and we'll share a few tales of battle and drink? What do you say? Oh, I do have. From the local tavern. Let's see. Share a few golds with me, human. Hick, gold. Ah, that me mighty fine stuff you brought, burp. You know something? Those damn elves in their woods will cause plenty of problems for us. Let's see. What makes you think we'll have troubles with the elves? Arrogant, height, and mighty-minded, devious creatures they are. Now, if I were Dwarven King, I'd march an army against them. My new friends will help me when it comes to that time. See if they don't. Your friends? Who are these friends of yours? Shh, you damn idiot. It's a blasted secret. They got great plans with me. They do. Uh, me being major and all. Mighty smart they be too. We'll kill all of those damn elves soon enough. I thought we were friends, Gregor. I, uh, I brought you all this meat. Only friends share meat, surely. Tell me about these fine friends of yours. Lean in close, then I'll tell you. But keep your voice down. They live in a secret cave in the halls of Karanamix. Place is well guarded by stone sentry. Vicious bugger he is. Need a password to get him past him. Okay. This is unraveling. He's working with them. I imagine it's the black ring. Your friends sound like a fine bunch. Uh, bunch. I really like to pay them a visit and give them your greetings. The password? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, the password winks. It's uh, done. It's prophecy. Yeah, that is prophecy. He has to tell it to the stone sentry in the halls of Karanamix, you know? Well, fair enough. We got, we got the password. It's getting late, I must go. Retrieve the actual stone, password to the sentry. This is where we're going then. So, the sentry is under the Dwarven Halls, which is uh, an underground settlement. And that is, he said it's into the dark forest, which is all the way over here. Right, so this is the, this is the archer's skill. This is where the elves are. I don't have a teleporter here. <laughs> This guy wouldn't give me the um, uh, the El Elvish uh, scroll or teleport. Oh, my bad. Into the dark forest. Dwarven Hall Center. There it is. <coughs>
Okay, we're getting close. This is uh, where we fought the orcs. Right, this is when we fought the orcs. Dragon amulet. A lot of gold. That guy was not aggressive. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, here we are. Oh, it's a lot of them. You can see it in the map. Look at that. We're really strong right now. Right. I mean, look at this. It's it's brilliant. This is the dwarven entrance. Shit, the weapon. Thorum. In the name of King Dunatrim, I welcome you to the dwarven halls, human. You should go and see the king immediately. I'm sure he wishes to speak with you. He resides in the northernmost part of the dwarven halls. Northernmost. <clears throat> Very well. So, the representative of the dwarves cannot... Oh, okay. Uh, he cannot come with us until we retrieve the Axe of Stone. We know it wasn't the elves. But the Black Ring. Of course. This is a good dwarven place. Are oh, there a teleporter here? I need the dwarven scroll to activate this teleporter. Fair enough. Right, so just so I don't have to reorganize my stuff again, I'm going to let you know. Here is where the king is, and you go in, and you you let him know, you investigate it, and so on. Now, you know what? We're gonna do it. Halt, where do you think you're going, human? You can't just walk into the throne room like that. I can't? What do I have to do then? You, mo you must hand over all your possessions. We can't have you walking in there carrying weapons and such. When you leave, we, we return your possessions. Can I trust you will give it back? Of course you can, human. Bah, we doors aren't like your kind. We're honest. Yeah, you will get your stuff back, just so you know. It's just gonna be not organized. There we go. I look good. The mage woman is hot, isn't it? Kelp Dunatrim, this is the Dwarven King. Greetings, human. I am Kelp Dunatrin, the Dwarven King of this glorious hall. Uh, we do not receive many visitors from the Dukedom Fettles. While you are here, may I suggest you visit the River of Gold? It is one of the wonders of Dwarven Realm. Very well. I talked to uh, Aeolus in Glenboros. He told me that Sacred Axe of Stone was stolen. And that you suspect the elves did it. Yes, those damn elves stole our most beloved artifact. We are planning to uh, we are planning a war to retrieve to retrieve it and punish the elves, uh, but we cannot strike yet because we were not yet able to locate the axe of stone. What do you think the elves did it? We captured an elf near Glimbrus after the, just after the crime. He claims he is innocent, but we will make him talk.
very well. Many dwarves have gone missing. Leave the throne room through the door you came in and continue straight on. Let me mark it on your map. Very well. We got a pointing? Yeah. The Dwarven Mines. Right. So we got our stuff back. The problem is that... Look. It's all... Um, it's all... Uh, unorganized. I need to put everything on. 80, 150, 200, then 150, yeah, fine, 160, 200. And I don't have any a better helm at the moment, do I? I mean, everything's better than the one I'm using now. Right, fair enough. That's it, I think. Oh, they actually organized my stuff. Kind of, uh, it's an improvement, actually. Right, so, I don't know. Let's put some of that. Right, so, here's the Dwarven Mines, or the entrance to it, in any case. We're gonna go there, see what's going on. So yeah, they are about to break war with the elves, and we have to stop that. We have to find this the the axe, and if we find the axe, we probably will find the perpetrator. Yes, another TP. Another TP. Is this the entrance? A lot of mining stuff. Yeah, okay. Here it is. Doesn't seem to be anything there. Oh, what? Evil dwarf. Are these orcs in disguise? They all drop gold, that's nice. But yeah, what are these orcs? They don't turn to orcs. <laughs> Lieutenants. These might be plotters. Or maybe these are friends from uh, friends of um, friends of the what is it called? Gregor. That's a guy. Mace. I doesn't do much damage. I do want a mace, a uh, morning star, or some sort of hammer to use with a with a shield. So yeah, these guys might be plotters with Gregor. Entrance. Is this where I came from? I don't think it is. No, I came from here. Yeah, this is a new place. Oh. Who dares disturb my sleep? Speak the words of power to enter or die. Prophecy. So, if you're at this point and you're uh, significantly well built, um, don't worry about this. 
kill it. It's 75k experience. The word of power has, uh, has been spoken truly. You may enter my master's realm. Right. Also, oh, this was just to the side. You see? This is where I, uh, where I enter. And this is where we were before. It's either that or the elven side is really powerful. To clear the fog of war. Which is a bit of a problem, quite frankly, because... Uh, the charm of fog of war it's that it's very good to keep track of what you have already explored it's a lot of these evil dwarves this but a quarrel just as old as civilization itself I got a helm. I think it's better than mine. Uh, winged, wing helmet. This, hundred and seventy. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn! I look good. Look bloody good. Okay, so here we have not been. It's dark. Ouch. Lockpicks. Sorry, I can't use that. Where are they? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, Morian Door. I don't know who that is. It's my honor to welcome you to my humble hideout, Mart One. Just out of curiosity, how did you get past the stone sentries? Do I snitch on Gregor? Probably should, right? He's an evil guy. I knew from the beginning that I couldn't trust that bloated drunkard for the mug of meat. He'd sell his own mother. So the Black Ring is cooperating with the dwarves. I think cooperate is the wrong word. I tricked the king's brother into lending me the axe of stone for a little while, that's all. You are responsible for the theft. I promised Gregor he'd be the new king of the Dwarven folk. He worked for the Black Ring only to serve his own ends, not ours. But it came to the same thing in the end. But why did you steal the Axe of Stone? I don't understand. You see, our actions are focused on creating chaos. The more discord we succeed in spreading, the more powerful the demon within the Sword of Lies will become. With the Axe of Stone stolen, the dwarves will march against the elves. Once they've been helped to jump to the wrong conclusion, that is. The resulting world will cause a sizable ripple in the fabric of order, doing much to allow chaos to ultimately prevail. Why did you choose the, the mines for your base of operations? What a foolish young lady. The mines offer us an almost unlimited access to iron, darling. We need iron to arm the renegade orcs, who will march under the flag of the Black Ring. Why are you telling me this? Surely you realize you just signed your own death warrant. I think it's time to teach you a lesson, you arrogant bastard. Burn in hell. Pray that we never, ev uh, we never ever meet each other in hell because then I will be able to chastise you through all eternity. Oh, shit. Okay, we got the freeze spell. Yeah, that's what you get. Ironic, you're gonna freeze to go to hell. Unlimited power. Wait, what the hell? Hold her off for a while. I am frozen. Oh, 
I'm not entirely sure what that just did. Where did he go? Oh, a door closed behind me. Maybe we have to find the axe. Ah, that is just the, the helm I just got. 170. Oh, that's a nice picture. I'm not able to use that. Sorry, I can't use that. Oh, uh, here it is. My dear Gregor, our plan goes well the, uh, to incriminate the elves in the theft of the Axe of Stone. So don't, uh, don't falter in your determination now. The Dwarven Crown is almost within your grasp. But if our plot is revealed, you will certainly be executed as a traitor. There is everything to lose, but also everything to win now. Fortune favors the brave. Sign, Moriandor. Okay, we definitely need to take this one. Some stories for you lads. You wanna read them? Where the hell did he go? Okay, there was another passage um, before this. Oh, there he is. Hold you. The axe. Already. Your ways of intrigue and deception are at an end, Violet. Now we'll see the color of your cowardly insights. I think not. He who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Farewell, Dolt! Dolt. Okay, we got the axe. He didn't take it. Take it. Come on. There we go. We have got the axe. And we have proof to incriminate Gregor. That's uh, that's fantastic. That was nice. Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh la la. God, so strong. We're looking good. The Existing Tales of Rothbars, the Barbarian, part 2. This is a holy book. Uh, it says there. Feel free to read it. I'm sure it's uh, it's brilliant. The thing is, I, I did read the, all of this. Like, every piece of paper I find in this kind of game, I read. But I did that in my first playthrough. It would take a while to do all of that again. Right, so let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and speak to the king. I don't even remember. I think it's down here. Oh yeah, that's the sentry. It's called. Yeah, there he is. Now, 
the way out through here. Gold. Right, we are out. This is a massive place. Just dwarfs digging a hole. Right, so we're gonna enter here again to the king. Ah, I got the axe in the back. Your Majesty, your brother is a traitor. Have you been to see the river gold? You should know that Dwarven hands crafted all the wonders you see here, no less. Right, let's see. Right, this one first. I bring you the axe of stone. It was stolen by a dark wizard. He framed an elf in an attempt to fuel the fires of hatred between dwarves and elves and bring about a war. What? By axe and flint, I, I was almost ready to order troops ready for the defense against the possible attack by the elves. This could have led to dangerous situations between our two races, friend. Your information is timely and may very well have saved the dwarves and the elves from entering into bloody battle. I thank you. I have grave news. I must tell you that the Dark Wizard gathered many dwarves in parts of the mines. He did this with the help of your brother Gregor. They are pre preparing a cop against you. What? Gregor is setting to betray me. These are grave tidings indeed. So that cave in since the missing dwarves are just aroused to cover up murders and the plans of these criminals to overthrow me. I will have these matters investigated immediately. And there shall be no sparing with those of treasure's heart, not even my brother. You have done my people and myself a great service, my friend. I know that you are a warrior of integrity, so as a reward I will tell you of the dragon armor. Dragon armor? Ah, the dragon armor. Well, tale, tale tells that dwarven smiths crafted it during the Age of Chaos with the help of Anarond. A paladin of the League of Seven in the war against the creatures of Chaos. When Anarond slew the mighty dragon, Stitz from Conark, the other dragons vowed to cease battle and leave, on condition that the dragon armor was dismantled and spread across the world. So it was done. How can I reassemble the dragon armor? The legend goes, uh, the legend does not speak of the places that the dragon armor was scattered to. And those that might have known are long dead, and returned to the uh, to dust now. The legend is true enough, for I have uh, I have the helmet of the legendary armor in my possession. For the great service you have done, my people, I am willing to give it to you, but only if you manage to find the breastplate and heart of the dragon. That's fantastic. Where can I find the other pieces? Hmm. I do not know exactly. I believe there are several parts of the breastplate. A helmet, a shield, a belt, a pair of gauntlets. Seek out Grisha, our smith. He likely has a greater knowledge than I about the dragon armor. One thing I do know is that the most important piece is the heart of the dragon. Right, let's see. Breastplate, helmet, shield, belt, gauntlets. Right. What is the heart of the dragon? It is a gemstone of red glowing light, and is where the greatest part of the armor power lies. Where shall I find it? I do not know the whereabouts of my other, of the other pieces, uh, save one. I did hear that the wealthy family once acquired a breastplate, and it, it's likely that the owner in question is unaware of its true origin and nature. You might try visiting him and ask if he is willing to set it. He lives in a town you humans call Vedistis, I think. Right, so the first plate is in, Ver in Verdistis. <clears throat> Thanks you. If I find something, I shall return. Uh, please do, but before you go, as friend of the dwarves, I will tell you another of our secrets that will aid you in 
in your travels. I shall give you this scroll if it, oh, it activates the Dwarven Teleporters, making it easier to use for return to the halls of Karanamix, uh, whenever you wish. We got the scroll, lads. We have had many caves seen, there are many dwarves have gone. Okay, that he already said that. Hold on. Right. So that's all done. Um Dragon Armor. The axe of stone is stone, the dragon armor. So what we're gonna do now uh obviously we have to go talk to the to Eolas, if I'm not mistaken that's his name. In order for him to join the council now that we're ready. We retrieve the axe and we settle the quarrel with the dwarves and elves. I just had to do this thing again. Apologies, lads. Gauntlets. I have better gauntlets, right? Yeah. There we are. Right, so we got the teleporter here. Now we can go. These are the dwarven halls, by the way. This is where they are. This is dwarven village. We can now use the teleporters, these two. But I have to go from the Ars Magicana. Uh, and there is a blacksmith there in the Black uh, the Ars Magicana. I, I I will see if I can. Oh, my game is doing funny. I will see if I get. I don't know, like something like a Morning Star or a Maze, with uh, just so I can use with one of my shields. I got nice shields. Not that I need it, but I I don't know. I just kind of like it that way. Okay, there's the Dwarven Village. We got, uh, we got now the teleporter. Okay, so this is the jeweler, and there is the the thing. The axe is there. I need to find the the guy. That's the thing. Ah, oh, here it is. Something I didn't do, and I just realized now, is that you have to go and speak to the to the elf that is being held prisoner. Uh, I don't remember. It's one of the houses, one of the hatches in the houses. I have been told that you recovered the axe of stone, and by that, the only sh uh, the the holy shrine is restored by the flatulent gods of the underworld. I don't know how to fully thank you, human. I have recorded the Axe of Stone. I hope the Elf Dwarf conflict can be resolved now. By the gods, how can we never, uh, how can we ever repay you for this glorious deed? You have to tell me how you got it back from those cursed elves. I hope you killed many of them. I'll write your saga myself. God damn it! No, it was not the elves. A wizard from the Black Ring was responsible for the theft. The ring wants to stir up as much chaos as and hatred as possible between the dwarves and elves. I think I got a score of settle with black ring of yours. Never again will they deceive my people. Their uh, devilry demands full of hideous retribution. I want you to join the Council of Seven. Since the Axe of Stone is returned, its commemorative plinth, uh, once again, I'm ready to the, uh, for the greatest adventure of my life. Yeah, the days of black, uh, the black ring are numbered, my friend. Very well. So we send him with the world. Yes. <coughs> Ex I bet a bloody imp invented this stupid cold word. Haven't they heard of vowels? Ex huh? Phew. It's done. 
There he goes. Only one left. That's all right. So I don't know how long the episode is going to be, but now it's going to begin a, sort of a montage, not a montage, but sort of a um, no commentary part of the video where I will be showing you the um, dragon armor and where to find it because I never did. And I think I want to I get it. So yeah, I'll see you, I'll see you to it and then... Ah, yeah, before I go. If you want to uh, start finding the um, the armor, you have to do something I didn't do, obviously, because I'm just passing through. Back in the halls, here, you have to speak to uh, Grimsha or something like that. That is the blacksmith uh, in the halls, and he'll tell you more about it. But yeah, I will be getting the. See if I can get it the dragon armor and I'll see you when I finish Right, so it turns out this is a gradual thing and it's not like I can collect them all and bring them. Uh, so as you saw, I think I have the br uh, the breastplate of the dragon. And the other one thing I, uh, we can get so far, it's to speak to the king once again. And because we have one of the parts, he's going to give us the helm. Right, my bad then. We go to the blacksmith. And... Once there... Blacksmith is... Uh, here. Here's the blacksmith. So... Once uh, we take our breastplate that we just got we give it to him and he makes the the actual dragon breastplate then we can get the helm as well There we are. This guy keeps following you and looking at you while you're here. <laughs> I guess they don't trust us too much. I have found some parts of the dragon armor. There's still some parts missing before I can start. I will need to, uh, the breastplate and the heart of the dragon. Right, so according to what I'm reading, uh, the heart of the dragon is uh, carried by Rakshin in the imp castle. That is something we have not done yet, so uh, I guess I'm just gonna leave it to uh, I'll leave it be uh, until I, I manage eventually to collect all parts. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna keep going to the um, to the council because we are only one member 
um, uh, missing one member only. That's uh, what I <laughs> what I was trying to say. It's Gomo the lizard, Eolus the dwarf, Brontheon the elf, Croxy the orc, Martinius the human, and of course Wizard Sandalor. Everything else is fine. We're only missing the imp. Hmm, this imp seems to be in an inn somewhere. Well, at least he looks like he's having fun. I don't know uh, this imp, but I do know where he's standing well enough. He's at the Ducal Inn in Verdistis. Oh, where I, I just come from Verdistis, actually. Very well. We do know where he is. Oh, I have to do the thing again because I. it's all uh, unorganized. Right. Wait, where is my... Ah, there it is. Ah, we can use this one in the meanwhile. That's, uh, that's alright. Very well. Let us go. So we can recruit the last member. Uh, where is this, right? The Ducal Inn. The Ducal Inn is uh, here. Look how quick I clear everything with the enhanced uh, Elven Sight. Leptine's Market. That's not it. This is the Ducal Inn. Where are the... The rooms? Oh, here, my bad. Right. Cat. Hello, neighbor. Did you just arrive in Verdistus? We did. My brother Titran and I. A true tit? Huh? We were told here in Verdistus uh, we could find uh, uh, women with uh, special talents, if you know what I mean. Right, tit? <laughs> what the hell? Yes, women with great big uh, assets. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? I truly hope not. <laughs> well, it was nice talking to you, neighbor. Maybe we can have another chat later. Please excuse us. My brother and I want to go to the bar. Right, Tit? <gasps> right, Tit. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Well, that wasn't weird at all, was it? Oh, here it is. This is the imp. Truth flag track. What are you doing in Sack Nadric's room? I am here to persuade you to join the Council of Seven, uh, Sack Nadric's. You have been chosen to represent the imps in the Council. You must come and help us fight the evil of the Black Ring. Sacnadrix of on Council of Seven? No, not Sanadrix. Choose by Council uh, Magic. And shows one. Trek written. Oh my god, I cannot read that. Treks and written. Who the hell is Antx? Uh, yes, Antx Imp you want. He's in here, in Magic Place. Magic Place? What are you blathering about, Imp? We saw you in the Scrying Stone. In here, in Magic Sphere, Ant is in here, hiding, flex flex. Council spell not show me, it show me with uh, this sphere, understand? Okay. Ant's imp you want, 
he in this fear of magic right touch the sphere it do the rest right what have you done to me What have you done to me? Golden key. Oh. I'm segregating... Uh... Superb! Oof. Ouch! What was that? Right, so we gotta find this thing then. Got no magic though. What's going on? There is a massive bee. Welcome, human. I am Lysandra, the queen of bee, uh, the queen bee of Arakans. There was a time when my kind were a proud race, but we now live in times of peril and danger. Your arrival is fortuitous, and I would ask a favor of you. The Garden Arakan has always been our home, but lately we have been plagued by wasps uh, who wish to drive us out uh, so that they may make Arakan their home. We have managed to deal with the wasps until recently because uh, though they are brutal and strong, they are somewhat dim-witted. We have always managed to outwit them and defend our home. And things have changed? Yes. A new breed of mutated wasps uh, has emerged with greater intellect. We now face a greater threat than ever before. Even as I speak, there are mutated wasps within Arakan borders. Uh, borders. So we fight them? Right. Fair enough. I guess. What is that? Hail human. I saw that you were speaking to Lissandra the Queen Bee. Maybe you will reconsider helping the bees. And who might you be? I am Raygon, the mighty Archmage. Forgive me, but you look more like a wasp than a powerful Archmage. Alas, you are correct. I transformed myself into this form, but I am unable to reverse the process. It is most annoying. Watch your tongue, or uh, you shall feel my sting. Why are you helping the wasps? Kuthanatel, the queen of wasps, has promised to restore me back to my natural form if I would keep, uh, if I would help her. So your help is not freely given. I help willingly. After all, the wasps have as much right to this garden as the bees. Why is it the bees and wasps cannot live together in our account? Uh, Kuthanatel will never agree to that. Now the bees must leave this place or die. Why should I reconsider my position? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what to do, lads. I don't like wasps. In the end you will lie uh, before me bleeding your life out. Wow. Right. Well, I feel like a lot of fighting is coming up, so I'll try to see if I can TP out and rest. Hmm. Apparently the teleporter stones don't work now. How quaint. <laughs> Well, that super magic thing doesn't restore shit. The bees and the wasps. This is a wasp. The golden key. So the golden key opened these things, I imagine. That was nice. Um. Well, it's not. It's 
nothing nothing great. Oh, the place is swarming with them. Golden key. But yeah, I'm killing the wasps, I guess. Uh, could you imagine? Right. Let's see. How wonderful. What? What the hell? Where did they take me? Ah, oh, I think it's just further up. Okay. Hmm, well that's not good. It's not good at all. Right. I don't know what the fuck that is. Sorry, I can't use that. Just what? Right, there is the thing. I think it's better if I keep pausing it because otherwise I cannot click on them. Yeah. That was nice. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep picking those things up because. How wonderful. Oh, that was uh, that was nice. What's going on? You didn't want to help the wasps, and now the bees are victorious. The wasps are in ruin, as I am. Uh, as am I for now, the wasp queen will surely never transform me back to my original form. For this, you shall die. Is he gonna kill me? I'm sorry, dude. And there goes the wizard. You agreed to aid us, human. But I hear many of my bees are falling at your hand. For real? I mean, it's difficult to... To differentiate. Take this key to open the big stone hide behind me. Be gone, human, and never come back to Arakan again. But what about the, the the what about the the imp? That's a wasp. What does it say? It's on red, as in I did it wrong. Superb. What? What is that now? The Wind Reaper? Angel of Revenge? Whatever did I do to you? Was nice. Ah, I had the key, yeah. Anks. Finally found you. Oh, mentor. What is that? Well, I cannot interact with it. This one, how I look around. This place is good. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Trix, Trix, what are you doing here? I've come to try to convince you to join the Council of Seven. According to Zack Nadrix, you are the chosen imp, not him. Ants new. 
Angst knew you would come. Angst been hiding here, waiting. Hiding why? Evil. Evil peoples. Called Black Ring, they are. Angst was remembered. Drek tracks. Now they want Angst dead. You used to be one of them? You have been in, f in foul company, Imp. I know. I know now. Black Ring and Angst are uh, hate kin now. How Angst go to council? Just use the magic word, mate. Here, take this crystal ball. Use it to leave uh, this magical place. Zig zag flags. Angst go to council. Very easy. Ah, that's how you pronounce that. Fair enough. He gave me this. Uh, okay, this is uh, the Ducalin. Invert this, this. Right, let's. It would seem we have recruited them all. Apologies, uh, dwarfish friend. Just trying to find my way out. So very well, let's go. Let's see. And uh, possibly speak to them. And see how this unfolds. The teleporter is here. Right. Right, let's speak to them. Because that's interesting. Como, Yolas, Brontheon, Croxy, Anx, Martinius. Well, Martinius was the first. Greetings, smart one. I must thank you again for rescuing me from the hands of the Black Ring. The gods only know what they had in store for both of us. Ah, well, this is nothing too relevant. I know, Marth One, I know. Be assured that I will take part in blessing you. Even though I have moral qualms over the actual ritual, I consider it my duty to do so. Very well. Gomo. What is this? Thank you again for saving me, Marth One. God, uh, how I hated being a snake. If I had been born to crawl on my belly and eat rats, I'd have been an imp. <laughs> I'm sorry. We lizards aren't the best at joke telling. Very funny, just don't tell that joke to our imp console man. Now, I need to know if you are willing to take part in the in the ritual of blessing. Certainly I will, Mart One. We must stop the evil of the black ring, whatever the cost. Very well. Then it was uh Brontheon. So this is the fabled meeting place of the Council of Seven. An impressive sight indeed. I agree. Listen, I was wondering about a few things. Huh? Oh, so? I'll be glad to help you in any way I can. After you have averted the war between the dwarves and elves, I owe you more than than I can ever repay. Do you still support our cause? I need to be sure that you will participate in the blessing. But of course, my friend, you are our last hope to stop the Black Ring from completing this evil plot. You can be sure that I will stand by you, whatever you choose to do. Nice. After that, we recruited... Um, the dwarf. I want to take the map off. There we go. Yellows. The architecture of the Council of Seven is truly a magnificent sight. This was dwarf built. I would bend my mother's battle axe on it. Why do you think uh, dwarves built this meeting place? You think it was human built, eh? Not a chance. Only my people had the skill to build something this deep underground, make it earthquake proof, like in Chile, and still bring out the uh, all the natural beauty of the rock. If humans stick to fighting and trading, give the architecture to us dwarves. Like Chile. <laughs>
Right. I must be sure that you will support my cause. Will you take part in the blessing? I don't see a reason why not. If you're willing to go through uh, through with it, that that is, the black ring must be stopped, whatever the price. The orc. Croxy wants to thank human for rescuing him. Croxy also apologized for the orc that tried to kill Marthwan. You understand the orcs is not evil. The honorable warriors who are uh, uh, dupes of evil. I understand the Black Ring has tricked many humans into acting for them too. The orcs are brave and noble warriors, but they can be too uh, they can be too trusting. Trusting or stupid, Croxy doesn't know, but he thanks human for his kind words. Croxy, will you participate in the blessing? It would be a great disaster if you refuse. Marked human can stop worrying. Croxy, do anything you ask. Very well. And our imp friend. What does the Divine One want from Anx now? Will you participate in the blessing? Yeah, they are all willing. And I want to speak to uh, Sandalor now. By all the gods, this is truly a great day, my friend. I congratulate you on gathering the members of the council. Now I, I leave you the honor of sounding the bell of gathering to begin the blessing ritual. Right. So this is the the bell of gathering. Let's see what happens now. Honorable members of the council, we are gathered here to perform a ritual that has not been performed in more than a thousand years. The dark times, spoken of in the prophecy of Reuben Ferrar, are upon us. Our only hope lies with this marked one who has labored so hard to bring us together. Janus, the son of the old duke, has found an ancient artifact called the Sword of Lies. In this weapon lurks a tiny portion of the soul of the enemy of us all, the Lord of Chaos. That foul fragment of spirit has, I am sure, possessed and consumed the poor, weak soul of Duke Janus. The Black Ring have waited long centuries to win such a formidable ally. Even now they gather around Janus like flies around rotting meat. Thus, they protect their main hope of victory. By creating war, discord, and chaos, the Black Ring feed the demon spirit in Janus's unholy sword. Soon the spirit of chaos in the Sword of Lies will be strong enough to open a gateway to hell. Then the sundered soul of the Lord of Chaos will be rejoined here in Rivalon. If that happens, none can guess the outcome. At best, we will all be conquered and enslaved by the minions of hell. At worst, the whole world may be returned to primal chaos, the endless starless night that was here before the coming of the gods. I ask of this council that we now send the marked one forth into the land of the dead as is required by the divine ritual the land of, of the death the dead we can only hope the marked one will be found worthy and will return to us as the divine one the divine one does every council member agree with this yes <laughs> it must be done if we are to heal the world the surgeon must never flinch from extreme measures if the patient's life is at stake i agree for human guide. I salute your bravery, O oh market one. I agree in the name of the lizard folk. Flix, flux, flux. This looks like it'll be fun. <laughs> Zax, I agree in the name of all imps. The elven race has looked into the marked one's soul and found a warrior with a heart of peace. Such a one must speak for all of us. For the elves, I give full agreement. <laughs> After the services the marked one has done the dwarves. We'd forswear ale if this one asked it of us. 
by Duna and for the dwarves. I agree. Roxy and all orcs of good taste and honor stand for this marked one. For the orcs, I agrees. Then, mm. so be it. As representative of all magical beings who stand against hell, I too have found the marked one full worthy. I give my agreement and seal the resolution. Honorable members of the council, it is time for us to begin the ritual. By the power of this ancient gathering place, by will of the good gods, and by trust of all living things, we call upon you, O oh Marked One, to face the ordeal and defeat the evil that rots at the heart of our world. Go now, Marked One. Go fulfill your destiny. The fate of the world is in your hands. It is done. Bloody hell, I hope it works. <laughs> I knew it would be fun. <laughs> I admit it did give me a certain religious feeling. Damned if Croxy understand. Look to me like we kill marked one, not bless. <laughs> but I not expert on religion. The killing was the blessing, you green oaf. The marked one's mortal form had to be destroyed so that the divine one can rise from the ashes. Oh, understood. <laughs> In religion, blessing and killing <laughs> the same thing. All these years, Croxy think he is warrior. Turns out he is priest. <laughs> uh... So when do we perform the rituals to summon the Divine One? I'm a healer, not a priest. I don't like killing under any circumstances. I'm anxious to see our friend made whole again. We will know when the time comes. For now, we must wait. If you gentlemen are hungry, I think I remember a spell that can create us some food. Anyone got a deck of cards? <laughs> <laughs> a feast. Oh no. What a splendid idea. I've long what are you doing here? To eating your living flesh. Janus, but this is holy ground. You cannot enter this place. And yet it seems I'm doing just that. Kill him. Lord fool. What did you think? <laughs> that you could perform your stupid ritual without me being aware of it? Ha! Away, demon! Friends to me! Don't waste your feeble strength, Zandalore. Your spells are useless against me. I've grown sleek and strong feeding on the misery in the world of late. I'll show you how strong in a moment, but first, allow me to introduce Oh you no, some fucking friends. hell. <laughs> Dread Knights. And I'm in hell. Moriandor. Shit. Oh dear. Do I detect a hint of paleness in your face, Sandalore? It is a little chilly in here, isn't it? Fear not, old man. Things are about to heat up significantly. You see, I think it is time for me to change my skin. Fuck. <laughs> Observe, Sandalor. It'll be quite a show. My minions destroy these vermin, but save the old greybeard till last. I wanted to see and hear every last root. They're not gonna die, right? Fucking what? hell. <laughs> no tears or lamentations for your dying colleague, Sandalor. What's the matter? Weren't we savage enough? 
Oh, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I swear by all that is holy, you will die in torment for this demon. But not by your hand, old man. Now, let's discuss... What the hell? My friends died. That was intense. My friends are dead. I tell you, drugs, I saw a dragon. There ain't no dragons around here, Garth. I saw Garth. I'm sure you saw drugs. something, but I'm also <coughs> sure it wasn't a dragon. You not know. You were running from imps. I stay killing imps. Huh. Now, since when does a brave orc shaman run from mere imps, huh? I was simply covering your back. Oh, brave orc shaman, smell of peace after fight. <laughs> you insolent dog! I should... Ah! What was that? God, protect me! What the hell? You dragon? Oh, okay. I am not a dragon. I am a dragon that temporarily polymorph. You bow down to my might. Or do I look like a dragon? Maybe I should do this. You know, dragon. Dragon not waste words when fight. Garth not stupid. Garth think you is human. Human always have money. Do you have money? Tell me about your pee prone friend. He's your boss. He not pay good though. Not good boss. He always pee once uh, pee pants when fight starts. Too scared even to cast spells. Always guard, clean up mess. He my only friend and my boss. Uh, me not allowed to talk about him. Do you know any village nearby? Any civilization in this wasteland? Garth not sure he's supposed to tell you. Okay, he didn't attack me. Drox can come back now. He's not dragon. Good. Um, Where am this I? This area is secure too. He's only big rock up there. Yes. Yes. Oh, he didn't snitch on me. I see you've never heard of rock demons, have you? Very dangerous creatures. This guy you have to be on It's way too topic. scared to be wearing a skull helmet. No, it's your smell of piss again. <laughs> Where am I? I have been awoken in a strange desert like wasteland. The last thing I remember is sacrificing myself in the blessing ritual, after which I magically saw my friends attacked and slaughtered. 
I hope some of them got away. I must now seek out signs of a civilization in this place. That was absolutely fucking terrible. I uh, that my friends died. Wait, I have an, I, I have infinite levels. Uh, fair enough. These two don't do anything to me. And this area, it's visible for some reason, although I I can bet I never been here. In any case, we leave it here for today, lads. There's eagles, cacti. Uh, we leave it here for today. There's something going on there. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh, yeah, quite an intense one. I did not expect to get that far today. Yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Be good. Bye-bye.